Hello kids and welcome to another class. In today's class, we'll be learning historical features and sites in Nigeria. To start with, what are historical features? There are different things with historical importance. Historical features are different things with historical importance. And historical sites are places where significant events took place in the past or places where monuments are preserved. What are monuments? Monuments are very old building or structures. Monuments are very old buildings or structures built by people's ancestors. Alright, let's start considering our historical features, some of the historical features in Nigeria. The first one we're talking about is lake. Lake is just a body of water. Now, these are some examples of lakes in Nigeria. We have Lake Chad, found in Bono State, Lake Jerio in Adamawa, Lake Ikana in Abia State, we have Lake Ogunta, we have Lake Tombo, Lake Ukwa. So these are lakes found, found in different states in Nigeria. There are some of the lakes actually found in different states in Nigeria. Talking about rivers, we have different rivers in Nigeria. We have River in Niger in Anambra State, the Anambra River, Benue River called River Benue. We have River Niger. From the picture, you can see rivers there River Niger and River Benue. We have the Gungula River in Adamawa State, the Oshu River, the Owena River in Ondo State. We have the Sokoto River. So these are examples of rivers in Nigeria. Okay. Talking about hills and mountains. Hills and mountains. From the picture, you can see this is a picture of the Shapa Wadi mountain. It happened to be the highest mountain in Nigeria and it's located in Taraba State. Other examples of mountain are the Idanre Hill found in Odo State, the Sakwala Mountain in Cross River State. We have the Shepshi Mountain in Benue State, Sher Mount Hills in Plateau and the Zem Hill in Baoshi states. These are some examples of hills in Nigeria. Okay, historical sites in Nigeria. Some historical sites in Nigeria. Let's talk about we have the Palace as an example of an historical site. Now, a palace is a grand and large set of buildings that houses the residency, the residences of kings, queens, and other families. Said a palace is a grand and large set of buildings that houses the residences. Of kings, queens, and other families. They are old places built and built with mud, brick, and raffia. Modern palaces are built with blocks with beautiful design and style. Now you can see from the picture this is the palace of the Emir of Zara. It's very beautiful. Other examples of Palaces in Nigeria include the Palace of the Sultan of Sokoto, 
the Alafin Palace, the Palace of the Alafin of Oyo State, the Palace of the Oba of Bini in Edo State, the Palace of Shehu in Bono State, the Palace of the Emir in Zaria, like the one you can see in the picture. Another historical feature, historical sites rather, we'll be talking about is historical markets. Historical what? Markets. Markets are places where people come, bring their goods and sell. Where buying and selling takes place. These markets are located near the palaces of community kings community kings and queens all right some of these holder markets be daily we daily weekly periodic or even night or day market there are several historical and important markets in nigeria this include the kumi market as you can see in the future we also have the Nkuo Ibu markets in Nanabra State, the Oba market in Benin in Edo State, we have Oja Oba market in Ibadan, Osele market in Ondo State, and Oyibo market, Oyibo market in Lagos State. This is example of some markets, markets in in Nigeria. Also, talking about historical sites, we have historical churches. A church is a building or any place where Christians gather to worship. Now, the European missionaries who introduced Christianity to Nigeria built the first set of churches in Nigeria. In the 16th century, the earliest Portuguese Christian missionary started trying to establish churches in Nigeria, but the first church building were built in the 19th century. Churches in Nigeria can be categorized as Catholic, Protestant, and African indigenous churches. Now, here are some examples of churches, historical churches in Nigeria. We have the African Church in Lagos. We have the Cathedral Church of St. Peter's in Abiyakuta. We have the Christ Apostolic Church founded by Apostle Joseph Ayo Babalola. We have the Duke Town Cathedral found in Calabar State. We have the Evangelical Church of West Africa, known as Equa, found in different states, like in the picture, this Equa Church is found in Port Harcourt. And we still have the Holy Rosa Cathedral. These are some examples of some historical churches in Nigeria. All right, we still have. Historical mosque. A mosque is a building or any place where Muslims observe the solat or worship of Allah. The established meant of mosque started in Nigeria as far back as the 10th century AD when Muslims when Muslim traders from North Africa introduced Islam. To the people of Kanem Bonu and Hausa land. There are many ancient and modern mosques in Nigeria. This include we have the Central Mosque in Oyo, Iwo, Shogbo, Ede, Ibadan, another Yoruba town. All the Central Mosques in Yoruba town and cities are very ancient, but most of them have been reconstructed. And beautified. We see have the Great Kanu Mosque in Kanu State, the Mai Mosque in Kanem Bono. We have the Mosque of Zazu Zaza 
in Zaria state in Zaria we have the mosque in Lagos we have Sultan Bilo mosque found in Sokoto state found in Sokoto state also all right talking about historical strengths we have the Arashuku shrine in Ibo land. This is found in Abia State. The Koja shrine in Ibo land, found in Anabra State. Oshu shrine, as you can see in the picture. The Oya shrine found in Kwara State and the Sango shrine in Oya State. Now, a shrine is a holy place. We are herons. Other errands simply mean people that are dedicated to something. We are other errands of traditional religion, worship gods and goddesses. This shrine can be found in different places in the community, it can be found in the houses of priests, it can be found in palaces of kings and other places within a community. Also, Talking about historical science, we have the museums. We have the museum. A museum is a special building where objects of historical and cultural significance are preserved and displayed for people to look at. Museums are found in several parts in Nigeria and they can be located, they can be local or national museum. We have examples like the Asia Museum in Essie, the Asia Museum in Essie, found in Kwara State. This museum was founded in 1945 and has more than 1,000 human images carved in soapstone. Soapstone. We have the Gida Manama Manama Museum found in Kano State, we have the Joss Museum, we have the Kaduna Museum, the National Museum in Benin, we have the National Museum at Onika, Lagos State, as you can see in the picture. This museum was established in 1957 by the British archaeologist Kenneth Murray. It preserves the largest collection of artifacts. And lastly, we'll be talking about cultural centers. The cultural center is a building specifically built to promote and showcase people's artistic and cultural heritage. Nigeria has a rich culture reflecting a rich culture reflecting its import multiple ethnic group. Therefore, many cultural centers are found in different states in Nigeria. Some of the cultural centers in Nigeria include the Mbari, Mbari Cultural and Art Center in Owori, Imo State. We have the National Gallery of Art in Kano. We have the National Theater of Egamu, Egamu, Lagos State. This center was built in 1976 by the federal military government to showcase Nigeria cultural heritage during the World Festival of Arts and Culture, FESTAC, hosted by Nigeria in 1977. We also have the Oyo State Cultural Center, as you can see in the picture. Hello kids, I know you've learned a lot today. You've learned about different features in Nigeria, called uh, historical features. You learned about historical sites in Nigeria. Hello kids, with this we come to the end of the class. Have a nice time. Do your assignment. Do your quiz. Bye for now.